A seesaw made of a three-meter-long uniform wooden plank is supported by a fulcrum at the midpoint. A 30-kilogram girl sits 0.5 meters away from the fulcrum at the left side, and a 40-kilogram girl sits 0.4 meters behind the first girl. Where should the 45-kilogram kid sit to balance the seesaw? The 45 kilogram kid should sit on the right side to balance the seesaw. But we have to find the specific location. Say we have to find his distance x from the fulcrum. There is only one unknown x we have to find. So if we write the appropriate equation, we can solve for our one unknown with just one equation. To balance the seesaw, we have to keep it from rotating. Therefore, the appropriate equation to write for this problem is the net torque has to be zero, which means the clockwise torque equals to the counterclockwise torque. In this case, the clockwise torque is produced by the 45 kilogram kit. The counterclockwise torque is produced by these two kits together. The clockwise torque is produced by the weight of the 45 kilogram kit, so it's 450 newtons times the lever arm. So the clockwise torque, torque equals to 450 newtons force times the lever arm. The lever arm is the distance between the line of force and the axis. So the lever arm in this case is x. The counterclockwise torque is produced by these two weights. So the 300 newtons force times the lever arm. What's the lever arm for the 300 newtons? It's uh, 0.5 meters, the distance between the line of force and the axis, 0.5 meters. And uh, the 400 newtons has a lever arm that is uh, 0.4 plus 0.5, so 0.9 meters. And then if we solve for x, we'll find it is 1.13 meters, so 1.13 meters away from the fulcrum. In this particular problem, we have clockwise torque equals to counterclockwise torque. And on both sides, all the torques are produced by gravitational force mg, which means that every single term has m times g, so the g's can cancel. That means that we didn't really have to multiply by g. We could have just used the mass times the distance, which means that we could have written 45 times x equals to 30 times 0.5 plus 40 times 0.9, and of course we'll get the same answer, just because the g's could cancel. In this problem, we did not have to worry about the weight of the uniform plank, because the plank is uniform. Its mg acts at its center of mass, which is at the midpoint where the fulcrum is. Therefore, the mg of the plank has zero lever arm and does not provide any torque.